Hello. <clears throat> Welcome back to my channel where we're going to talk about more Pokemon card stuff. And um, yeah, it's going to be another Minder opening 151. They did another reprint and I found it. So uh, we'll open that at, for the final thing. It's been marinating a bit, which takes a lot. <laughs> it takes a lot for me to not just open these things all right when I got them let me tell you um, <clears throat> anyhow I did want to first so we're keeping the lights the way they are I this is the third time I tried to film it <laughs> and yeah I have this cool laser thing and cool lights that change but I realize it's not clear the cards aren't clear enough when I do that, so we are not doing that. <laughs> yeah, um, but I forgot to show <clears throat> in my vintage card video, um, I forgot to show Snorlax and Ninetales. So here they are. Snorlax. Which I think they've always done a great job including him. Adding Munchlax was smart. Mega Snorlax is cool. He's just everyone's best bud. I've been thinking about, um, and this is super dorky and nerdy, but could be kind of cool to, like, make little clips. You, like, wear them as a necklace and, like, interchange them. Right? But you'd want, they sell, like, SPF covers. I want to get those first because I don't want these um, sun bleached here. And then nine tails, which yeah, I I just forgot to show you guys. It was like in my pocket of my sweatshirt. So yeah, and then I have a very terrible, the worst condition Zapdos. It looks like <clears throat> it looks like someone put it down and told someone to drive over a million times. So that's not even going to be shown here. And yeah, some other notable mentions is this Lugia from, it says it's from 2010. I'm not precisely certain the, oh, it's a promo. I think if I remember correctly now, if this is a promo, I probably got it from one of those boxes. So that's kind of cool. I kept that. Uh, this Deoxys, Jirachi, I mean, it's a, it says Deoxys right there, it's Jirachi, uh, from the Deoxys, something, yep, and, really nice card, really, if it was in better condition, it'd be worth a lot, um, I keep it in here, but the sides are kind of fraying, you know what I mean, like, not quite peeling but if you took it out over time it would just peel off <clears throat> so I don't want that to happen and then Charizard this is one of my Charizards well this is like I think this is my only Charizard not that cool <laughs> um, but it's from 2012 I believe This is one that I have played with a good amount. It's more of like a, a deck card for me. Won a lot of battles with that one, actually. And then last but not least is this Manaphy I have, which apparently is a promo. No, it's not a promo. That's, that's the Lugia was a promo. Um, it has a swirl. Which, you know, back to this can be kind of hard to see <laughs> sometimes. Let's do the, the light test, right? It's down in the corner there, if you're looking with me. Yeah. It's hard to see it. But I have another card with the swirl. Yay! I feel like it's the water ones. The water ones have a higher likelihood. Something about the pattern. 
But I could be wrong. That could just be in my case, right? Anecdotal evidence is not always <laughs> reliable. So yeah, I just wanted to go over those first, because they're cool. I like all those ones. And da 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 It's the box. So, I don't know if you guys have opened this at all, this set yet. Um, so this is the special set. Again, I was talking with the woman at GameStop. She was very informative. Now that I keep... I think I've mentioned her like five times. Because she just knew what she was talking about. But this is the special set. So there's usually a special set. And then a set that coincides with the video game. Um, so this, I mean, it is the video game, but it's Scarlet and Violet. 151 and then the other ones are all scarlet and violet where there's a you know a higher likelihood of there being pokemon from scarlet and violet from that generation right now. i don't think any of them are in here yeah that's the whole point right and that's for me i am not saying you should only like the first gen but that's for me okay la 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 we need food that might be bad for it actually but we're coaxing it out Now, in the first box, there were quite a bit of awesome ones. I don't know if you guys have seen that. Feel free to go watch that because I got almost everything I dreamed for. Um, nothing too crazy, but good hollows. This one we're gonna go through, we're gonna do the card trick, guys. I'm not a noob, okay? <clears throat> Although any of us can be noobified if we want to, let's be real. Noobified. <laughs> if the world wants to do it to us. Look at this! Basic energy. Steel hollow. I got a dark hollow last time, but this one, look at that. That swirl, double swirl, triple swirl, quadruple swirl. So many swirls! You can see them right there. Apparently this is turning to the Swirl channel. I think it's just because I always heard people, even growing up, um, say they they liked them and they looked for them and like I think I just didn't look closely enough. I didn't know what they were talking about right. And it's so rare. Like how are you going to know? Anyway, Metapod. Nice. I don't think I have that yet. Not in this set. Poliwag. I already have that, but that's nice. Ponyta. That's the first time I got that. Pikachu. Pika! <coughs> Pikachu! If you guys want to do your best Pikachu impersonation and like, dude, I guess we, I wish we could do video replies or video responses. Remember that? And you would just go to the, the um, video and like, they need to re-implement that feature because I think the only reason they got rid of it is because people abused it. So here's Kadabra. And I was just talking about that. There's something with the name. They have to like pay extra royalties every time they make that card. So there aren't as many cadabras made. I don't know if they would stop making cadabras. Some people said that. They could just be talking. 
That was Geo, dude. I didn't say the name. Diglett. This thing looks kind of funny. Look how he's kind of like slopsided. I was re looking at the rocket set and I noticed the Doug Trio art. We're going to do that in the next pack. Each one, we're going to look at the art and see what they're doing. Because the Doug Trio art is just popping out of someone's bedroom floor. It's like, that is a dark Doug Trio. If I was sitting here in a creepy Doug Trio mound of dirt with faces on it, popped up and broke my floor, I would poop myself. So, uh, anyway, already amazed. We got Zapdos. Zapdos EX. Voltaic Float. If this Pokemon has any electric energy, energy attached, it has no retreat cost. That's amazing. I see why people like this one. This one, I think... Um, yeah, you can buy this as a promo. I almost did. But of course, when you get it as a non-promo, it's slightly... Um, a, it feels like you're accomplishing something, even though you're just opening a pack of cards. And B, um, it's slightly rarer, because you're not just picking it up off the shelf and being like, buy it. So. Yay, Zapto CX. That was a good first pack. La 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 la. La 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 la, let's all go to the... Okay, can you guys tell me, if you ever watched the anime, what was your favorite song? If you know, like, the name of some, like, track, that's fine. I'm thinking, like, those songs at the end. Like, they had the poker rap. Um, there were a few. But my favorite was always the Viridian City. I think that might have been the intro to like the second series or something. It was like, we're on the road to Viridian City. We're on the road to Viridian City. It sounds so like healthy and productive and they're making progress and they're happy and you know. I love that melodies can kind of convey that sort of thing too, like, it's not just the, um, the words. Because you know those songs that don't really, the words don't fit, but you like it? I don't know. It means something. Voltorb. That's my first Voltorb, actually. That art style is cool. He's kind of like a bumpy Voltorb. I'm used to them being so perfectly shiny and round. Sandshrew. Guys, I'm so happy I'm doing this with you. Krabby. Does anyone else know that? Look up Krabby Koki or like cookie Krabby made a weird noise in the show it'd be like and it sounds like it's like foaming at the mouth with some weird like <laughs> foam I don't know why I pulled about so weird <gasps> look at this seal this is my first seal but look how he's sleeping on that remember said we're gonna go through and see what they're doing because part of it I enjoy the stances and like He's just ready to pounce. It's cool, like... Oh. So those mushrooms are actually Pokemon. I believe. Oh no, they're flowers. They're just flowers. It's really pretty. They're like glowing in the dark. <clears throat> yeah, some of them tell a story like if, uh, if you've seen... The Dusk Noir I got, that's full art. That was from, um, not this, but Shrouded Fables. 
it tells a story, I guess. So if you get if you can get the Dusk Skull, the Dusk Globs, and the Dusk Noir in full art in that set, it excuse me guys. It tells a story. Um, you know, a visual story where he's following somebody, like haunting somebody, and by the end he's trying to like get into the house and that's what that's what's happening in the Dusk Noir one. He's in their backyard, he followed them home as he evolved, I guess. There's muck. Not holographic muck. Daisy's help. Daisy. Cycling road. That's kind of cool. I always wondered why cycling road had such 90 degree angles. Like, that's not good for cycling. Maybe walking. But cycling. The Gatang. Oh, and this one he's eating too. Remember we were talking about in the base set how he's eating from a tree? It's almost the same depiction. Just the different. These are apples. I think the other ones are more like seeds or something. That's cool. Reverse hollow. And guys! Full art nine tails. EX. That is amazing. So that means right now we have both of these. That's so cool to me. So this is kind of the equivalent. Like if I was a kid these days, I imagine, and I got this, that'd be like getting this, right? Like that's what's going on right now. So that's amazing. I love that. And let's be real, I still am a kid at heart. Just to really, I can be uh, responsible enough to get things done. But that's awesome. Oops. I think that's my favorite one so far. Like, it's like a teal outline. Who did this one? Illustration Planeta Suji, which I'm not sure if Planeta is like <clears throat> an artist's name or they changed their name to that or what, but that's cool. Or they work for someone. I might look into that. But clearly, they have some new artists. Um, but there are some that have been doing this from the get-go, which is kind of cool. I wonder how old they are now. I'm having trouble with this. Sorry I'm such a uh, <laughs> stickler for opening it this way, but I don't want to hurt them before I even look at it. I totally just throw them away though, it's not like I save these. Some people do that, it's sketchy to me. Before you opening packs, make sure you look at the back and see if they're like, this is fine, I got it from Target. But if you bought them online, make sure you see if it looks like someone like clamped it. Cause that might mean they went through and took cards out and like replaced them with other ones. I was learning about that. Um, this guy. Oh. Yeah, that, people do that. That's like the worst part of scalping, if you ask me, or the people who do stuff like that. No, honey. You don't get to steal and then like get the reward and then like sell the husk of anything. People like me are gonna tell people like you so we're informed. We all watch out for each other. That's a nice uh, reverse hollow fighting energy right off the bat. There we got an Eevee. I think that's my first Eevee. Maybe. Yeah. Charmander. Area Charmander for the street. I need Bulbasaur, which I shouldn't say that. You know what I mean. But I. 
want and need. Help sort of sparrow. It's up on that twig. It looks like it's gonna break. I don't trust the Spiro. That's one of the Enix Pidgeys. I can trust the Pidgey. It'll probably just run away. Spiro's gonna attack you. Rhyhorn. That's pretty good. That's pretty good art. He's doing that rush attack, right? Torn attack, I think that might be. Rapid dash, which we have already gotten, but. I like it. Her hair. Her mane is so aflame. Ooh. Sorry. <laughs> her, ma her mane is so aflame, though. Look at Someone threw some kerosene on that Rapidash. Then in that gasolina. Rapidash gasolina. There's a neat arena. Which I guess she's dark. I've been talking about the typing of the cards too, because, like, that has to do with playability. Um, and I like to talk about that on this channel. But one thing they do is they'll change the resistance and the weakness to kind of fit the type. I don't know why they made Need Arena dark, though. She's poison. Poison grass, I believe? So one, either grass, grass makes the most sense to me. They're really not sure to, what to do with the Nidorans, man. Eradicate. Just sitting there. Why does it look like taxidermy eradicate? The way it's sitting. It's like, are you gonna move? <clears throat> Dude, someone was talking about how Gary's Raticate or Blue's Raticate in Pokemon Red and Blue dies. And like, right after you fight him, he's missing a slot in the next fight, and he's at the uh, Lavender Town Cemetery Tower, I forget what it's called, the tower. Uh, not to ruin your childhood. But a little dark. Pincer. Pincer's just being Pincer. I always felt bad for him. He never got a baby. He never got an evolution. His mega evolution was only in like one game. <sighs> Ghastly. I'm not looking. Can you tell? Ghastly. Reverse Hello. Another one where he's plopped. But I like the art style. See how it's like... It's a little messy. Oh, like Van Gogh. Like a Van Gogh meets Picasso thing. I am so happy. Vaporeon Hollow. That's beautiful. He's down in the reefs. You know what? This is what I get for saying I wish Sea King was hollow, because. They had the coral reefs in that one, and that's what I thought would be, you know, pretty. And it is. Always welcoming prettiness into my life. And this is one way I do it. Look at that. I'll literally sit here and just look at this sometimes I'll be having a drink of water I'll just sit here and like yep that's me that was good we've done three and we have one more I can't do it again. Gotta cut. Let's read it, right? I never read these. Team up with Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle and witness a brand new dawn in Kanto. With this new day comes a new chance to track down old friends, make new partners, and capture every last one of the original 151. 
Uh, discover the extraordinary Venusaur EX, Charizard EX, and Blastoise EX in special cards with captivating illustrations. And explore the cities and countryside of a reinvigorated land. You might even find the elusive Mew EX in your travels. New adventures will unfold and new horizons will be revealed. Which another thing, if you guys aren't aware, I believe those Snorlax boxes with the Snorlax on the outside uh, usually come with a promo hollow Snorlax in there that's separate from the boosters. And then the big box, you can get Mew. Um, those would be promos, of course, which does usually diminish the value slightly if you care about that. I don't, but I don't know. I didn't get those because I just got those other promos the other day. Like, I can't, everything can't be a promo, bro. Like, when does it just become the product, right? energy, dark energy, lots of dark. Pidgey. See, I said in the other video that they only make the cute ones say their names, but Pidgey doesn't say his name, and he's cute. He makes the weird pigeon sound. He's like, oh, I can't make the pigeon sounds. If you can make the pigeon sounds, Comment below. <laughs> Here's a Poliwhirl. Dude, he's pumped. He's just sitting on the floor and pumped. That's a funny concept to me. It's like he was sitting and someone just said it's time for recess. Kakuna. What's going on here? Oh, I see. So they're like stuck to the side of the tree. I didn't know that was the concept. Did anyone else? I always thought they like hung, like a coon. But I guess they somehow adhesively attached to the side of the tree. <laughs> Here's a polywag. I mean, I'm sure they have sticky webs. Big air balloon. I have not seen this yet. What is it? The stage two Pokemon this card is attached to has no retreat. That's going to be one that people will use. Having the retreat cost is like a huge high value in the game. If you want to win and not feel cheated, hero. Okay, a couple more guys. There were reverse hollows. There's a haunter. Which I think I have, but not reverse hollow so far, so I'll put that over there. Reverse hollow Seedra. He's speeding through there. I think he's in a wave, right? He's not under it. He's in the wave, like in the crest. And last but not least, Holographic Machamp. Ooh. That's pretty cool. It looks like he's in uh, some kind of metal mine area. But yeah, look at that. Yay! So that's what we got today. Here, let's put him in the... Uh, one of these. Now, Machamp, I don't have any any Hollow Machamp, so that's also welcome. Most of, I mean, all of these are welcome. I love Zapdos. That's like one of my favorites, so. And we got two, we got an EX, two EXs, and one of which was a full art, so. You ain't going to see me complain. Yeah. If you want to trade, comment, or message me. 
Um, also, please like and subscribe uh, if you have any friends that are into this kind of thing. Um, I do this. I've been trying to get people to play the game because these are for playing, but um, a lot of people don't know how, and it's not too difficult. So I'd, I'd like to teach people and show you that you can do it, and it's not expensive. Like if you open packs like this at all, you have all these extra cards. Normally, you want to use your extras, not the cool the ones you're saving. So you have them anyway. Let's use them. Um, also, please check out my friend's channel, Hector Lubago Cringe. He also does this. And yeah, thank you guys. Have a good night.